prepare for unending ecstasy and eternal pleasure. It is it, it, time for models display. Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmaster's vlog for the Warhammer for the Balls and Gaming System, created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to episode 35 of this vlog. Uh, today I'm gonna be looking at my elite choices for my Emperor Children's Army, which is a chosen squad. Uh, since I'm nearing the Finnish line of my Night Lords, I thought I was gonna go back to the uh, other army, which happens to be my Emperor Children, and see if I can wrap that army up as, as well. I don't have a lot more to. I'm not far from uh, being finished with that. Uh, anyway, going into the fluffier. This is based from my fanfic uh, writings. Uh, they, the squad is led by a character called Salaf, and he's the aspiring champion of the first excess of the second company in the Perfected Warband. Uh, Ecstas, if you have forgotten that word, it means ecstasy in an old Camotian slang dialect, uh, which many of the members of the warband or uh, originated from. Hence, why it's a popular term to use instead of squads, just like uh, just like uh, many uh, of the Night Lord squ uh, squads are called claws and stuff like that. Instead, this is not uh, official. This is not official fluff, this is just my own writing to say so. Uh, Salaf used to, c to command the 54th company in my own written fanfic, and that means that he was a part of the 6th sh chapter. Uh, he has two horns and a power fist plus a bolt pistol, so we can go to detail and check out how he looks like. And this is Salaf, as you can see here. Here is his power fist, his bolt pistol, and his two long horns. We can check out the other other members of the squad here as well. And next to him, we have two of his bodyguards, both with the power swords, as you can see here, and as you can see here. If you remember my previous video where I showed you, I think it's called Eight F Extas, where the aspiring champion has a uh, head like this, I wanted to copy that and make it redo it ag again and with far more successful results I might add. Uh, the only other member of the squad which is uh, mentioned by name is a character called Sendras and he as you can see here he has the sentient head with the four horns and he has a mutated arm which fires out uh, burning flames. Uh, he's a sorcerer with a mutated right arm and I think I showed you in a previous video where uh, I showed you one of my mutated uh, Slaneshi sorcerers and I, my idea is that that is his final form after the end of the first novel and when we get into the second one where he has gone way too far with the powers of the warp to say so. Uh, other special specialties with this squad is that they have uh, two special weapons guys and the, they, they are these two. It's a melting gun as you can see here with these horns down. Uh, this is a head choice which I use, rarely use these, these days because it's so hard to get it attached to the body and make it look good. Uh, usually I have a problem with the horns getting in the way of the shoulder pad as you can see here. Uh, the other special weapons guy is, is this guy with the plasma gun as you can see here. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is uh, another. This is another personal favorite. Uh, he's a guy with uh, holding his bolt pistol, you know, aiming forward and raising his mutated, cracked uh, left arm to the sky. Uh, he's a really favorite to say so. Thank you. 
back in the days when I started out with my Emperor Children's Army, this was the third squad ever which I got my hands on. And it's one of the few squads which actually has a good per uh, pink color, if, this, if I would say so. Uh, however, I noticed now in Aftermath, as I look at, look at these models, that the painting is very... It's very uh, Suff uh, suffering, it, it's not very good quality to say, so I, I would say that my improvements how it, when it comes to painting has gone a lot m better than, than when I did these guys back in I think 2010 or 2011, I, I would say 2010. So I, I'm currently uncertain if I want to keep these or if I should get some new ones and remake them to say so. Um, I'm uh, under, I'm uncertain at this point uh, because I really like Sandra's. I really like this guy. This uh, these two are okay, but it's, uh, I'm not certain. I'm not so sure. Sure. Uh, but yeah, so uh, this is pretty much everything I had for this video. Uh, Thank you very much for watching, watching this, don't forget to rate and subscribe my videos, please give a thumbs up and also leave comments on things I'm doing good so we keep on doing them and leave negativity on things I'm doing bad so we'll either improve or remove the content entirely and also don't forget to share this with your friends if you think it could be interesting or uh, entertaining or inspiring in their hobby making. But other than that, thank you very much for watching this. Prefer, prepare for unending ecstasy and eternal pleasure. Bye!